No. No. What is that? What? What is that? Add a tally to the spit count. Hello, everybody. Wow, that was really high. My pitch start. What's going on? It's your girl Merle. Welcome back into my kitchen. We are going to be doing. You guessed it. Well, you didn't guess. It's in the title. We're gonna be doing another ranking video today. There's so many things to rank. The conflict between being indecisive and needing to rank things really just makes for some explosive content. Maybe explosive is the wrong word, but I did almost have a psychological breakdown in the last ranking. Oh, what do I do? I was conflicted because I had the mental divide of trying to judge these things based on flavor or price or health. In order to save my brain, I'm going to focus on the taste. I'm gonna give you all the information, but you get to decide. So, we're doing this off of flavor. I'm feeling good because unlike the vegan pizza ranking, I don't think I'm gonna feel like absolute trash at the end of this. We're going to be ranking veggie burgers. It's not the same video as the other one I did. That was vegan burgers, and that was like imitation meat burgers. Today, we're gonna be doing straight up veggie burgers, like earthy, crunchy, grainy, nutty burgers. Famously, I don't like veggie burgers. You all sent me a ton of recommendations of veggie burgers. So thank you so much everyone for those of you who submitted on my Instagram shout out. For those of you who are interested in submitting other brands, that's where I do it. Let's talk about the ranking system. We're doing S, A, B, C, D, F. So S is like spectacular. Think of it as like S for spectacular. A is awesome. B is that's good. C is like, it's fine. I probably won't ever eat that again, but it's fine. D is like, don't eat that again. It wasn't good. And then F is like, fuck that. For real. Those are our tiers. Without further ado, I think we should just go ahead and get right into the ranking. What we're not gonna do is we are not going to be dressing every veggie burger up. I'm gonna be trying upwards of like 10 to 12 to 13 veggie burgers today. There's no chance in hell I'm eating them on a bun. I'm sorry. We've got a lot of burgers, people. Hillary's, that's the first brand we're gonna be doing here and it came very highly recommended from you all. I've never had any of these veggie burgers before, so this is exciting. Oh, this one smells spicy and like sassy. This one is the Hillary's Black Rice Veggie Burgers, also known as Forbidden Rice. I'm very excited. The thing that I've noticed about Hillary's that I'm really attracted to is they are certified B Corporation, which essentially means they're committed to being more transparent about like social and environmental issues related to their company. The kind of thing that companies and corporations with integrity do. There's like grains and trains and automobiles in this thing. I love that. There's a whole bean in here. Maybe this shouldn't surprise me as much as it does, but you don't see a whole bunch of like whole real ingredients. <laughs> this one has four grams of protein per patty, two patties per container. So 10% of your daily intake of sodium, which is so much better than a lot of the other vegan items we've ranked so far. So again, big veggie burger skeptic here. Smells really good. Smells like a bean burrito. Hmm, it's good. Would it taste a lot better with other things along with it? Of course. I can tell that this would make me feel better after eating it. The ingredients list is pretty short. This is nothing but good stuff. And it tastes good. It doesn't taste overly salted, which I think a lot of us are like more accustomed to with a lot of like packaged foods. It's got like a nice little crunch on the outside and then it's like nice and moist on the inside. That'd be really filling too. It's like bean city. Bean, bean city, city bitch. bitch. I'm gonna try all the Hillary's first before I rank them. That way I have a better idea of like what's out there. This is really good. All right, let's try the second one. Now we have Hillary's Hemp and Green Veggie Burgers, Millet, Leafy Greens, Hemp Seeds, Thyme, and more. A veggie burger dream. This was $2.99 for two patties, 47 cents per ounce. And this one is also 10% sodium. So let's try it. So it's definitely green. Ooh, smells a little spicy. Mm, whoa, mm, that's really good. What is that? What, what is that? That gives you a leafy punch in the back of the old throat. These are the healthiest tasting things I've ever tried. <laughs> I love that this is like so moist on the inside and it has such a good crunch on the outside. That is an interesting punch. Oh, it's thyme. I can tell you there's definitely thyme in here. Maybe a little more than I would have preferred. That's the sprig of thyme that I found, I think. When you're lost in the da 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 da
Time after time. If I can find a way, I will turn it into a musical. Time for the next one. Next up, we've got the Southwest Adzuki Bean Burger. Man, these people love their Adzuki beans. They like their millet too. Similar to their siblings, the Hillary Southwest Adzuki Burger is $2.99, comes with two patties, and that is 47 cents per ounce. So it's got 10% of your daily intake of sodium, which is nothing. And we got four grams of protein. Something else I've noticed about these burgers that I really love to see, these babies are packed with dietary fiber. This one has 13% of your daily intake of dietary fiber in one patty. That's very good. Now I have myself thinking maybe for this one, I do need to include the health factor. They need to have a hotline for Libras where you can just call and be like, hey, what do I do? This is my problem. Thank you. Let's see what you got. Hmm, smells beanie. Mm. It feels a little bit like 50 shades of the same color. This one has the Southwest flair. None of these have like an overwhelming flavor, but this one's got a little heat, spice. Spice up your life. Da -da 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 -da. Spice, spice up, up your life. life. I think this one might be my favorite so far. Great crunch, nice and soft on the inside. And you know what I just realized? All of these are soy free, gluten free, corn free, and nut free. These are burgers for everyone. Hillary's, I like what you're doing. We got the Hillary's Super Cauliflower Veggie Burger, and it's $4.99, four patties, and that brings it to about 45 cents per ounce, and this one has 12% sodium. Oh my God, this one smells really good. It kind of smells like fried rice, like vegetable fried rice. Ooh, honestly, this one is delish. This one feels like you're getting away with a little something. Feels like it has more salt in it but it doesn't. My only complaint, it was a little more dry than the other ones. It had more flavor. We have one more of these Hillary's burgers. Let me try it. Also, for those of you who are new to my ranking videos, at the end, I do a morning after ranking. After I've tasted everything, I have one last chance to go through the tier to decide like, okay, now that you've had everything and now that the glow, the morning after glow has washed off, how does it really look to you now? Things are subject to change. I saved this one for last. This is Hillary's organic world's best veggie burgers. World's best. So I figured I should try this one last. Is it gonna be the world's best? We'll see. So far, I love Hillary's as a brand. I like that they're a B uh, corporation and I like that they don't have junk, a bunch of processed crap in their veggie burgers. On a flavorful scale, these still fall within like a five or a six and a half. I'm having second thoughts. Now that I've tasted the cauliflower, it's kind of bringing to light how much little flavor the other ones had. One of Hillary's burgers just betrayed the rest of the burgers because I'm like, oh, wait a minute. Okay, that one's better. Let's try the world's best burger and see what happens. Once again, I can see little pieces of vegetables in here and we know I like that. It says whole grain millet, sweet potato, and leafy greens create awesomeness that lives up to its name. These people love millet. Kind of tastes like falafel. I was hypnotized by the beauty of the, the transparency of this brand, and I don't want to tear Hillary's down. That said, I don't think we can call that world's best because I've definitely made a veggie burger that was better than that. I think the ongoing theme here with all the burgers is there's not a ton of flavor. Partially could be because, like I said, don't have a bunch of processed crap. There's not like added sugar. They have like a crunch on the outside and they're softer on the inside. A little mushy on the inside, but I actually don't mind that. They don't give off much flavor of their own. Like I really think it would be very important that you dress these up. I don't know if I can in, in good faith give any of these an A because flavor wise, they're not giving me much. Hillary's black rice burger gets a C because the flavor doesn't, it doesn't impart a ton of flavor. Then we have this, this hemp. I'm honestly probably gonna put that one in the C. That one's kind of close to being a D just cause there's so much time in there, but I'm gonna put it in the C cause it's not bad, bad. And the, it's so healthy. I think I'm gonna put the Southwest uh, Azuki bean in C also fine. I'll put the cauliflower one in B and I'm gonna put the, the world's best 
also in B. I felt really good eating these, so I'm absolutely gonna buy them again, but nothing that I've seen so far has totally wowed me or changed my mind about veggie burgers as a whole. I'm just gonna say something because people ask me all the time, like, what do you do with the leftovers? I'm putting all of these Hillary's burgers into a Ziploc bag. Sorry, it's not a reusable, like, other bag, but I reuse my Ziploc bags multiple times. Next up, we have Dr. Prager's. And honestly, I'm like going through this whole crisis right now because I'm like, who can I trust? I can't even trust myself. I fell victim to like loving a brand and wanting to uplift a brand, but then I have to kind of be honest with myself at the end of the day. I'm an honest person. I'm a good person. These rankings are hard. So we're gonna do that. Honestly, it just doesn't help that my bar for veggie burgers is so incredibly low. Like, I'm not expecting to like, really like, the flavor of any of these today. So we're gonna start with the cauliflower veggie burgers. Now, I accidentally got a two pack of this. Every other single one is $4.99 and they're four burgers. So just ignore the fact that it says two burgers. I paid for a four pack and I got a two pack. What's up with that? Dr. Prager's cauliflower is $4.99. That's 45 cents per ounce. Four patties and 12% sodium. Already, these have more give to them, but these are made with all good stuff too. Ooh, it's a big chunk of something. I like the texture of this. It doesn't have as much of the crunch that the Hillary's ones did on the outside. Still doesn't have a ton of flavor. I can't lie. It kind of reminds me of like, Remember that whole like fad of cauliflower mashed potatoes? You're expecting mashed potatoes, but it's cauliflower. So it's just a little more diluted. Kind of giving me that vibe. Again, it's healthy, but it's not offering very much flavor. And it's a bit softer. It just doesn't have much flavor. I'm gonna give it a C. I'm, I'm ramping up. And don't you worry, I've got the Hillary's ones in here in case I need to revisit them. <laughs> All right, let's try the super greens. Dr. Prager's super green veggie burger is $4.99. It has four patties, 11% sodium, and it's 49 cents per ounce. Ooh, the super green smells like basil. Got like a little pesto-y thing going. I like this one more. I like this one because I like love spinach. <laughs> I'm literally chewing on spinach. This one's super healthy. I like this one because I'm a big fan of all of those greens. And it has a little bit of a crunch to it. I would buy it again. I'm gonna give it an A. Again, it's not necessarily wowing me with like crazy flavor. It's just, I love greens and this is nothing but greens. <laughs> now we've got mushroom risotto veggie burgers. I'm excited about this one. Honestly, this is the one I was probably the most excited for because I love mushrooms and I love risotto. I can totally see the rice. She's there. Roasted portobellos. Oh, I love portobello. Arborio rice, peas, and truffle oils to create a mushroom masterpiece living for these descriptions. $4.99, it's four patties, and it's 12% sodium. Let's get into this mushroom risotto. Mmm, smells like mushrooms. Ooh, ooh, mama likes that. Okay, okay. Now that is a step up from my idea of a veggie burger. Roasted portobello, you can sit on my face. This is so good. Sorry, it's just exciting to actually enjoy one of these. I really like it, and you know what? It does have a similar texture to like a risotto. I'm gonna give you an A. Now I feel like I have to push the super greens one down. From a flavor standpoint, this tastes better than that, but I still enjoyed it enough. So I'm gonna keep it as an A for now, but we'll see in the morning after review what I what I what I decide. Next we have the Dr. Prager's Heirloom Bean. Bean Bonanza, <laughs> including Adzuki, Pinto, and black-eyed peas. Wow, it really does have a lot of beans. Adzuki, Pinto, Great White Northern. Black eyed peas, red kidney beans, cranberry beans, never even heard of those. Still only four grams of protein. Phil, I'd expect with that many beans and lentils and whatnot, it'd be like a protein punch. It does have a lot of dietary fiber. It's a little softer than the other ones. It's like kind of falls apart a little bit. Ooh, this one tastes a lot like that one. And it looks a lot like that one. This one really falls apart. It's tasty. I really like this one actually. This one's got good flavor. I'm gonna give it an A. I would mess with this again. Dr. Prager's, what I tell you, naughty, naughty. Three of these ones have been in the A category so far. Who is this Dr. Prager? We are Dr. Prager's, a multi-generational family-owned food company founded by two heart surgeons. All right, we got one more Dr. Prager's and we're not done after that, actually. We still have a lot more to do. The last Dr. Prager's, Dr. Prager's California veggie burgers. Sunlight on a bun. 
Carrots, peas, broccoli, and spinach join forces in our original and most popular party. Oh, pot patty. $4.99, making it 49 cents per ounce, four patties, and 11% sodium. Mm. Oh. Oh, it's got a nice crunch to it. Like I can actually taste, feel the crunch of vegetables when I'm chewing it. I'm gonna give this an A as well. I like that. Good job, Dr. Pragers. We're gonna go on to the next burgers. That almost rhymed, right? Next, we're gonna do corn, Q-U-O-R-N. Corn hot and spicy vegan burger is $5.29 and four patties, making it 57 cents per ounce and 10% sodium. I don't think we can call this a veggie burger. It's like an imitation chicken burger. Pretty good. I'm not gonna rank this, because it's not the same. On to the next one. The Strong Roots Kale Quinoa Burger is $4.99. It's four patties, making it 48 cents per ounce, and it is 13% sodium. And it's got like seeds on the... Whoa, whoa. I just lifted back the layer. I'm just an innocent veggie burger. Don't mind me. Oh wait, look at this. Well, that was exciting. It's fine. It's good. Is it good? Mm. I mean, I like the look of it. Like, I like that it has all this stuff in it. It's got like a breadcrumb on the outside too. I'm not crazy about it. The fact that it doesn't taste as good as other burgers we've had so far that are gluten-free and soy-free as well. I think I'm gonna give this one a C. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of the breading on the outside. And it doesn't have a lot of flavor coming through. Next up, we have Foodies Vegan Artichoke Burgers. So this is cool. This is a woman-owned company and a family business. We love to see it. I love artichokes, so I'm actually pretty excited about this one. The Foodies Artichoke Burgers are $5.99. They have 6% sodium, and they come with three patties, so they're roughly 80 cents an ounce. So that's more expensive than the other two brands we just looked at. Here we have the original recipe for the artichoke burgers. It kind of smells like onion rings. It has more flavor than a lot of like the Hillary's ones did. The flavor's unexpected. I can't really tell if I would like eat this with cheese. It's kind of sweet. I like that it has a flavor, but I don't, the flavor's not actually my favorite. <laughs> the texture's okay. It's a little soft, but I'm gonna have to give the original recipe a C. Let's try the next one of these. We've got our Foodies Thai Coconut. I'm pretty particular where I want my coconut flavoring to come through. This is not where I want it to come through. It's not bad for this one because I feel like it's my own bias against the coconut and it's just an overpowering flavor, you know? I'll give them a C. I'm giving them a C because I feel like my own preferences are in the mix here. And I think other people might like this one. I'm tempted to give it a D because I would never eat this. Indian tandoori patties. I'm not tasting the artichokes, no. Nope, no, no, I don't like that. I love Indian food. I have been to India and eaten delicious, authentic Indian food. No, I don't like that. That's not good. I'm gonna give it a D. The artichokes are not serving this burger. Now we're gonna move on to Trader Joe's. I got so many requests for the quinoa cowboy and then I found out it's not vegan. And you know why it's not vegan? Because it has egg white powder. Why would you do that, Trader Joe's? Why? Use any other binder. I I've, haven't made my peace with it, clearly. But we're gonna try these other Trader Joe's ones, and I'm not gonna throw any more of a hissy fit than I already have. But I was really looking forward to trying that one. Let's start with the Trader Joe's Masala Burger. $2.99 for four patties, making it 29 cents per ounce, and it is 18% sodium. The ingredients in this is like potatoes, canola oil, carrots, green beans, breadcrumbs. So this one's not as healthy as some of the others, as in it's not like jam-packed with a bunch of vegetables. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Like it's not by any means like an authentic Indian dish. It has a really nice crunch on the outside. Kind of feels like a potato pancake. I don't think I would give this an A. It really depends on the vibe you're going for. Mm, maybe I would give it an A. I'm gonna give it a B. I think it's really good. I don't think I would order it again, but it's in no ways bad. For now, I'm gonna say B. I'm liking this more and more. I might move this up to an A, I'm not sure. We're gonna move the vegetable masala up to an A. Wait a minute. <laughs> Will I buy this again? I'm gonna eat a veggie burger to be healthy. You and I don't want it to taste good, but I really want to be healthy. I could just get 
authentic Indian food and not like meat somewhere in the middle with this and burger. And get a healthier option. So this is the Thai Sweet Chili Veggie Burger. $3.69, making it 30 cents per ounce, and it's four patties, and it is 11% sodium. It's just not authentic. That's my only issue with this other one, too. Trader Joe's doesn't know how to do this. They're not doing them justice in my mind. Maybe I'm a snob. I don't like that. It feels like almost perfumey. Maybe I'm crazy. That made me crazy! I have an idea in my head of what a veggie burger is. It's too sweet for me. I'm gonna give the sweet chili veggie burger a D. There's like an inauthentic flavor coming through to me, and it doesn't have much else going on. Probably pretty controversial. This is my liking. For someone who doesn't like veggie burgers, there's a lot of veggie burgers. But I would love to eat something else right now. I've got gadgets and gizmos. I've got who's it's and what's it's. You want veggie burgers? I've got 20. <laughs> but who cares? No big deal. I want more. I'm having a good time, and you know what? I'm also learning about a lot of different kinds of veggie burgers. We're at our final Trader Joe's veggie burger. This one seems to be like their most veggiest veggie burger. Trader Joe's high protein veggie burger is $3.49. It is two patties and it's 44 cents per ounce. It is 21% sodium. So let's just eat it. This thing is huge. It says pea protein blend, water. I think you're getting what I'm saying. It really doesn't taste like much. It almost reminds me of like an imitation meat burger. It's crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. It's just not much flavor though. I might give it a C just because it has the protein thing going for it, but flavor-wise, it's not offering me very much. It's a C, it's a C. It's not bad, it's nothing special. It's almost bad though. <laughs> I will say the biggest disappointment was the fact that the quinoa cowboy wasn't vegan in the first place. What the heck, Trader Joe's? And I'm not gonna throw any more of a hissy fit than I already have. Next up, we've got Amy's. Remember Amy? I think Amy's has been in every single vegan ranking video I've done yet. Amy's is six dollars and twenty-nine cents. It is sixty-three cents per ounce. It is four patties in the package, and it's twenty-four percent of your daily intake of sodium. Okay, so this has a little more sodium in it than some of the other ones. We'll see if it's worth it. It's kind of giving me the millet vibe, full of flavorful veggies, grains, and walnuts. I'm not a fan of this, I can't lie. It's kind of like vaguely salty. It just doesn't have much life to it. Listen, Amy's great in a lot of ways, but this just tastes salty, in my opinion. So I'm gonna say D. I, I would say fine, but it's just like, it's not even, the texture's not super pleasant. We have two more left. They're both from Sprouts. Let's finish this up so that I can take a big long nap. We're gonna start with the quinoa veggie burger from Sprouts. I can see pieces of veggies. It smells a little weird. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Texture is very strange. That is not it. It's not awful. Like, I'm not gonna give it an F. I'm gonna give it a D, though. I don't like it. Let's try the black bean. It tastes like they've been boiled. It's a little bit slimy. I'm gonna give this one a D, too. Sorry, Sprouts. The texture freaked me out. I gotta give them both a D. I'm sorry. Okay, everybody, it's been several hours. I took a break, I digested. So we're gonna do our quick little final thoughts. Is there anything I wanna change? Is there anything I would move around? And the answer is yes. I'm gonna move the Hillary's hemp one from the C category to the D category. I remember not really liking that one. Here, big girl, you wanna come here for the final reckoning? So then we're gonna move the Prager Super Green from A to B, because even though I enjoyed it, it feels like more of a B. Ooh, that is a butthole right in my face. Oh, that's a butthole right to the camera. And then I decided, you know, what was my favorite one? What was the standout one? The freaking Dr. Prager's mushroom risotto, I thought was so good. I'm ready to make another one. And I just ate these burgers all day. So I'm gonna move that from A to S tier. So we do have one S tier burger of this whole lot. Good job, Dr. Prager's and family. Other than that, thank you guys so much for sending all these suggestions. Please like and subscribe. I'm doing more and more of these rankings all the time. I'll be doing a shout out for my next ranking video on my Instagram. My Instagram is right here, somewhere on the screen. In the meantime, follow me on Twitch. I try to stream on Mondays and Wednesdays. Also, I have a Discord. Join my Discord. All that is in the links in my description.
Thank you guys so much. Have a beautiful day or night or morning. Mwah. Ciao for now.